So we've got a small sample, but our opponent's a, a pretty aggressive opener. Um, so we're going to have quite a wide free bet range uh, when we get to like 20 big blinds and below, including like suited hands, obviously. And obviously, queen seven is going to be a call in this spot, um, pre flop. When we get to the flop, uh, in a spot like this, our opponent's calling range uh, in terms of hands out of equity compared to, say, uh, a 9 7 free rainbow, it's going to be a lot wider. We want to be getting value from. Uh, Stuff like his 9x with an over that he's going to be willing to stack off flush draws 6x. Um, and our perceived range is also going to look wider with the draws available out there. So our opponent may occasionally spew off with a hand that doesn't have enough equity, um, say like a, an ace 9 or something, um, just assuming that we've got a draw. Uh, so I think this is a good spot to, with the effective stack sizes, check raise and then get it in on most turns uh, or call a shove expecting our opponent's free bet range to include enough hands behind us that uh, it's plus EV for us to get our money in. Obviously we check with the still with flush draws, sixes, nines, eights and a bunch of sevens and some random ace or king high that you might stack off with. Uh, I think we're definitely good to get it in here with a check raise and shove on the turn. Um, also, I think when we shove on the turn, it does make our hand seem a bit more drawy. Um, and should hopefully widen our opponent's calling range. In this particular spot, our opponent free bet shows, and obviously he's got a better hand in us in this spot, um, but there's definitely enough hands behind us that this is a fine stack off given the board and uh, what I've seen so far in the last games of his uh, relative aggression. So the reason we do it, um, I guess, on like an 875 as opposed to like the 973 rainbow that I gave the example of, it's more about, it's about your relative equity compared to your opponent's range as opposed to just your naked equity compared to any cards. So your relative equity versus a stack off range and the flat range, which is going to be better than compared to a 973 flop where there isn't as many opponents fee, uh, hands for your opponents to have to be behind and be willing to continue with.